Hey guys, Roots here. Uh, just wanted to show you guys how I do my res change on my Aero DWC system. Um, the system's compromised of four bins like this, three of them uh, being what are holding my plants, and one of these being uh, my main reservoir, which is located out of that room so I can uh, do some work on it even when my uh, lights are off. So right now I'm just emptying this thing with my uh, 400 gallon per hour pump here. I uh, just have it emptying with a uh, half inch hose right into my sink over here. And this uh, drainage pipe is hooked up to all the other uh, buckets going into the other room with uh, standard, uh, standard fittings for uh, DWC here. So all of them are draining into this bucket and it's being pumped out right now. So uh, while it's pumping out, the first thing I'm going to do here is, uh, I don't know, you guys can, uh, you might be able to see a little bit of this at home, but I have, uh, because I have to use a swamp cooler, uh, a swamp cooler is when you run a fan directly on top of your reservoir, which usually drops your temp, uh, your temps in my experience about like, uh, maybe, maybe a solid, uh, eight degrees at least. So, uh, definitely worth looking into if you're having some, uh, some troubles. I'll show you how I have that set up, uh, in a little bit. The only problem with this is that I need to keep my res open, so I do have a little bit of light going into my reservoir, which can cause some algae. So, what I do to deal with my, uh, my algae as my, uh, my first step is I use a concentrated, uh, H2O2 solution here that I've, uh, mixed up earlier. And before starting to scrub, the first thing I do is I'll, I'm going to spray all, all the areas that have a little bit of uh, algae on them so that, I make, so that I make sure that the algae is dead before I start scrubbing and throwing more of this in my, uh, in my future reservoir. So it's, I find it's really important to spray your algae before you start scrubbing to make sure that none of it uh, falls still living into your reservoir. I'm just going to let uh, this thing uh, empty by itself here. Usually it takes about uh, maybe 15 minutes to get this thing empty. I mean, uh, it is about 600 liters of water in here, so, uh, you know, it's uh, it gets full pretty, gets full, and it takes a while, uh, it takes a while to empty. I don't actually have it filled up to its uh, maximum capacity, but uh, I do estimate that I have about 400 liters of water when uh, this thing is completely full. So I'll let this thing empty and I'll get back to you. Alright guys, so you can see here that uh, I got all the whatever small amounts of algae that I, uh, that I could here uh, out of here. And all the salt buildup and also any mineral buildup which could have uh, happened in my res. Uh, you know, a lot of people spend uh, hundreds and hundreds of dollars on additives and then don't even bother uh, cleaning out the residues in their reses. Or, you know, they'll slack off on some other things, water their plants uh, later than they should, or just do, a, just do a poor job on something that would have taken five minutes to do the job properly. And then they'll go and spend uh, thousands of dollars on uh, gear and other additives when they're not even willing to put in the five minutes of effort which would increase increase their yield. According to me, the best additive you can use to put in your res is a little bit of blood, sweat, and tears to be honest. If you're willing to put the effort to do things right the first time and always do things the way they're supposed to be done instead of slacking off, you'll get a way better yield increase compared to any additive you can add to your res. So, my favorite additive, personally, is uh, hard work. Alright guys, so uh, in this reservoir for my DWC Aero system, I prefer to use uh, General Hydroponics Flora Series just based on how stable these newts are and on how effectively they can be used with hydrogen peroxide. Uh, ju it's just a really, really simple nutrient system. It's very complete, it's tried, tested and true, and it's fairly inexpensive. So the first thing I'm going to add to my reservoir here is uh, hydrogen peroxide. This is 35% hydrogen peroxide. I added about at one milliliter per liter. If you don't want to do anything more than that with uh, the 35% uh, because it's very, very powerful stuff. I'm going to let the, the H2O2 run in the system with clean, with just clean water for uh, 
approximately an hour. And afterwards, I'm going to start adding uh, GH newts as, uh, as described. Uh, for this reservoir, I'm going to be adding 750 milliliters of flora micro. It's important to throw the micro in before you throw any other newts because the micro does have a tendency to possibly combine with other nutrients, especially if you mix them all in the same bucket. Uh, when I add my micro, I mix it in with about two liters of water, then pour it directly into my res before mixing anything else with them. Next, I'm going to add the flora grow immediately followed by the flora bloom. In this reservoir I'm also going to add uh, Dutch Master Silica at 10 milliliters per 20 liters. It's extremely concentrated. A uh, really good product if uh, you're trying to save some money and still have uh, some good additives. And then I am also going to add a couple of scoops of uh, Epsom salt here to deal with any potential uh, CalMag deficiency. I won't be adding too much of this into my reservoir, um, just enough to make sure that uh, they don't go deficient on CalMag, but I am not using reverse osmosis water. I am using uh, conventional tap water, so uh, usually that alone will be enough to stop you from going deficient, but once you start seeing a deficiency, it's already too late, so I like adding just a little bit uh, to make sure that they don't go deficient on uh, calcium or magnesium and to prevent that deficiency I also in my foliar sprays uh, throw in uh, throw in some uh, CalMag and uh, that way at least you're convinced that it's absorbed by the plant because there's no way that it's not getting absorbed through foliar and you can be sure that you're not gonna have uh, any deficiencies as you can see here guys, uh, the res is almost, almost empty and once that happens I'm going to fill up the fill up the system with a little bit of water to make sure that we can drain, uh, drain all the solids out of the other uh, containers. There shouldn't be any solids in there but you never know, might as, well, uh, might as well rinse them out just to make sure that everything's out. And then I'm going to pump all that water, uh, well not all that water, but uh, whatever little bit of water I've put back into it, I'm going to pump out to make sure we got all the solids out. I'm going to fill this reservoir back up, throw in one milliliter per liter of 35% H2O2, let that system run for about an hour, and then I'm going to mix all my newts uh, back into here. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this one. And Hey guys, so right now I'm just refilling my res with uh, clean water and uh, letting, it, uh, letting it fill up a little bit more. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, activate, uh, activate my micro timer, which controls the uh, pump that controls my, uh, my arrow here. And I'm just going to turn it all the way, the on time all the way up, the off time all the way up just uh, spray any residue off the roots and uh, hopefully we'll see it come out in this res here and we'll be able to pump out the solids. The only reason why I use uh, this micro timer here is because I'm using a 1 6 horsepower pump to power my arrow and if I would leave it on all the time this reservoir would uh, completely empty while the other ones would be flooded because the inch and a half return hose that I have here uh, can't even keep up with the output of the arrow. So usually I have uh, the, these things, these dials here uh, set to about, let's say, three minutes on, four minutes off for my arrow. And this uh, this allows me to stay on top of uh, any flooding that would occur uh, from me just keeping this pump on constantly. So, uh, almost done this, uh, almost ready to throw in some newts for this res here uh, as soon as we've pumped it out and made sure that uh, all the solids are out of here again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video on how I do my res for my uh, Arrow DWC and 